One seed in the ground is enough to grow a garden. July 3rd, 1904, marked the passing of Theodore Herzl, a journalist who witnessed the trial of General Dreyfus being accused of treason in France in 1894, a moment which would change his life. Signs were everywhere. People marching, kill the Jews, the Jews are traitor. Herzl was so affected by this anti-Semitism and injustice that he committed his life to pursuing the cause of Zionism. Herzl began planning, writing, talking to the Jewish people who were scattered throughout the world. Without the ability of YouTube, emails, or Facebook, he mobilized the Jewish people to come together and be unified. The future of our Jewish people depended upon our return to our ancestral soil. Theodor Herzl passed away at the age of 44. So it was in his 30s that he took on our 2,000 years of dreams to reclaim our home in the soil of the Jewish people Israel and make it a reality. He raised money through Jewish National Fund. We built Tel Aviv, communities in the Negev, in the Galil, Kiryat Shemona, drained the swamps in the Hula Valley, Beersheba, and more. Now, Theodor Herzl died before the establishment of the State of Israel, yet he was re-entombed in Israel in 1949. Thousands of people brought bags of soil, soiled the land of their homes from Jerusalem to the Negev to the Galil, and they dropped the soil on Theodor Herzl so that he would be covered with every inch of the land of Israel. Now, Jewish National Fund continues to create those dreams on that very same land. Herzl had a saying, if you will it, it is no dream. At Jewish National Fund, we changed it around a little bit. We said, if you will it, we'll work hard, we'll raise money, and we'll make it a reality. Come see the dreams of Theodor Herzl, and come see the accomplishments you have made through Jewish National Fund.